What's up, boys and girls? Welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, subscribe, like the video, and comment down below. All right, um, so let's go. Are we ready? Yep. Okay, uh, another episode of BFF coming off, obviously, uh, our craziest one that yeah. who could have uh, ever anticipated. That was like, it was like almost a million, like two days, I think. Yeah, Unreal. and the little just you talking about, it was surreal because we got, you know, the timing of it, it was all real time, you finding out about it, and then we got the Mads yeah. when she DM'd or did her, like, Twitter post kind of doubling down, and you heard it for the first time. Yep. And it, the whole thing's strange, not strange, to rehash it, because in the sense of, you know, we're a podcast that likes to just air it out and be honest, and we ask other people to come on, and then it's weird when it it's, involves you, Josh, you're, oh. like, directly the guy involved. Yeah. Um I've been on the other end of that a couple times, and, and, you know, it's hard to – you can't have your cake and eat it, too. When you do what we do, it's like, oh, we want everyone to be honest and truthful. And then yeah. when it's you, 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 you kind of built the bed. You got to sleep in it. So mm -hmm. where are we at? We have talked a little bit. Um, Druin was running around being like, I'm going to kill people if they fuck <laughs> with Josh. I love that. Yeah, He's, yeah, I love it. Yeah, he hit me up on the side. He's like, you know – this is like really personal. So like be, be like, think about that. I'm like, I already have, like I, I consider Josh and I now friends. So we yeah. are trying to balance everything. No, I really appreciate it when you reached out to me like a couple of times, just to make sure I was doing okay, like mentally and everything. But for me, it was just the weirdest part of it was like, I one not really knowing like the whole situation. And then two, it was that I had like 15 to 20 million other people that were just like in my business now you know what i mean it does it, it you just don't get to make that decision on your own it's like i'm already a young ass kid that's like going through a breakup it's like ah, now i gotta have the 15 million people giving their opinions on it too rough so there's a whole mess of tweets here mads and ness tweeting about the drama um and i guess they're just kind of Teenage drama, like TikTok room. I'm looking yeah. at Mads. I've wasted so much time on you. I've wasted so much time in you. This looks like a lyric. Do you even think about me? Do you even think about me? La, 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 la. Ness is being very Ness in what I would see her. Like, she's got obviously a huge moment in her life coming up with the Kimmel thing. Yeah. And she's like, future's bright. I'm going to basically concentrate. Um, I'm not going to let false judgment destroy me. Music's keeping me alive. Um, Mads, very childish. You got Mads listening to Jaden's unreleased music. So you got the whole thing. And then Mads also, it's my fault for bringing all this drama to social media. Stop making edits of Jaden and Ness. We all have feelings so childish. Just drop it like we did. Didn't you can't she really make the say first that. Fucking edit? Didn't she make the first edit of Jaden and Ness? She you did. Cannot, you cannot tweet that. Like, I've always in my world, when someone like throws you the first brought punch. This. Correct. You brought this to the world. Correct, and then you, you can't be like, made right. the first Jaden Ness edit, bro. Like, what are you fucking talking about? Correct. I've been on my phone in like seven days because it's just filled with stupid ass edits. That's, <laughs> so that's her fault. Where are we at? Let's get the Josh Richards triangle. Mm. Do you know anything more mindset? Like, where where are we at with this thing? And maybe slightly, you know, put it to bed. I don't know where are we at. Yeah. So. uh Obviously, I had to, like, talk with Ness and everything because that shit was, like, crazy. But pretty much, yes, me and Ness are, are broken up. We we are not together. But, like, it wasn't it wasn't the situation Mads was putting it out there to be. Like, she was kind of – that's just, like – it was just jealousy, really. That's just, like, a girl getting broken up with, then being jealous for no reason, and then throwing shit online. Like, it's, like, th trying to put assumptions together – and, and make something out of nothing. Like, it, it's just like one of those dumb high school fights you see, except now every kid in high school has 10 million followers. Right. So is your confidence level then, if we're going zero to 100, like 100, like it's all, all the drama and rumors and what she said, just bullshit? Do I think they, like, hooked up at all? Zero percent. Zero. Yeah, zero percent. So that's, that's a great spot to be. So then you and, you and Ness, broken up, but friends. Yeah. And you and Jaden still close as ever. Yeah, we were watching March, uh, like March Madness together and shit. So, although I did see your tweet being like, "No one will watch March Madness with me." And yeah, you know, it, bro, it's like pulling teeth to get these guys to come watch a game. It's brutal. Jaden doesn't seem like a basketball guy to me. He he played in high school, but uh, he they just like 
I don't know. I feel like they just like got out of it and it, it's just weird. It's like I'm trying to like sp- do anything revolving around. They'll play actually. That's not true. We go and we can go and hoop together. We'll play like actual basketball. They just don't watch. That, if you remember, the first time I came to the Sway House, I was amazed. It was a college football Saturday, and you guys had this gigantic, like, TV, and it was just off. And I looked, and I'm like, what? how does this not have college football on right now just sitting around? Yeah. So I get that. But that's good. I'm glad to hear that um, because that's all that really matters, whether it was true or not true. And, and if you're convinced, that's all that matters. That's like peace of mind. Yeah, 100%. Do you think yeah, that so, there's a future with you and Ness, or do you think it's kind of in the past? Uh, no, I don't think so. No? Well, I think I think la- like me and Ness are pretty much 100% for sure never going to be together again, but like we're definitely friends. Like I wouldn't I would never not be there for her if she called me. I would never not like I I, I would yeah. I I still reach out to her like I've reached out to her like one time or twice and just been like how are you? Is everything, how's everything going? Like, congrats on the Kimmel stuff. I, I wouldn't ever want us to lose our, our friendship. That's slightly different when we were talking because w- we had a little bit like, you know, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be and never know yeah. what the future because you clearly have like a place in your heart for her. But, you know, you never know what the future will bring. You guys are both like, you know, budding. You're already well known, but I mean, I, to have a relationship at your age, now I there's like, like no man, time. Like I feel like Phil. there's no time. Right, you're for both it. stars going on your own fucking way. And to be honest, like if you, if I'm Josh Richards and I'm like, you know, 18, 19, single like boy band looks, and probably are girls like slide into your DMs now left and right over this? Probably. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, right. You I, I, like I said, I haven't really been Wait, on my phone in you- six days though, so it's like. I, I swear, like, I think yesterday I came back and, like, posted a couple TikToks, but since the BFFs recording, it's, like, didn't go on my phone. Any sad music listening to? Any, like, oh, just putting on sad tunes? <laughs> yeah, like, maybe in the car a couple times, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I was just, like, in the car, and I was just, like, ah, throw on, like, All Girls Are the Same by Juice World. Ah. <laughs> just, like, uh, blasting it, driving. Yeah, fuck. there's a couple of those for sure. You said... <laughs> You said last episode that that's how fuckboys are bred. Do you think that you will now be a fuckboy? Mm. I disagree, by Uh-oh, the way. I did not pause. agree. That's, that's <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, I was, I was saying, I was going to say no because I've already, like, I've already, like, kind of done that stage when I was younger. I feel okay. Like. You're better than that now? I feel like when I was, like, 17 and then, like, Leading up to meeting Ness, I was just, I was not a great dude. And that's not even like, that's not a brag. That's just like, uh, like calling myself out. I was just like, mm. I just, uh, I just like to like get with girls and then move on very quickly. And it just wasn't very nice. Y- you're going to be a fuck boy. Like, what are we talking about here? Like, I know, you're 19. Even, come on. What world? I mean, and, and dude, by the way, like face. most look girls, look at this face. Most girls this is a fuck who, boy. who, they know that going in. I mean, it, it, it's no different than a celebrity athlete, whatever. Like, you think you're going to hook up with a dude who's famous and rich and right. young and good looking and, like, settle down? Like, maybe mm-hmm. once in a million. But, dude, come on. You're a fuck boy. Let's, like, <laughs> come on. Let's <laughs> call a fucking spade a spade here. Um, okay. So, we put That's a little great. bit of a cap on that. You know, maybe we talk. Maybe we'll see. We can't put it behind. Maybe Mads comes on at some point. Maybe not. I don't really know her outside of this. Um, but moving on to other stuff. Uh, and we're going to have Stromedy on in a little bit to talk about his beef real fake with Bryce. It's tough to get a read on that guy. Um, but before we do that, Paris Hilton joined CNBC to talk NFTs and Bitcoin. Interesting. Notice she has her own NFT dropping soon. We want Paris Hilton on this show, and I want her on this show bad. I don't know why exactly this is on BFFs, but it's on there. So do you guys have thoughts on this? <laughs> she got a lot She's of backlash a... from it, right? From guys. From who? From just, like, men. Men were, like, it was, like, toxic masculinity. Why? People don't want Paris Hilton in the boys club. That is Bitcoin, evidently. Yeah, people were like mad that Paris Hilton was joining it because she's like a girl and she shouldn't be in that world. And basically saying that just shows like Bitcoin's kind of a sham. Like, or that was it was just all over the place with that. 
That makes no sense. I feel yeah, like I the don't Bitcoin understand people that would all. like that. There is that new Paul asked me about. There's this bit clout, which is like a new thing, a little bit of it's like social influencing for Bitcoin. Yeah. Um, have you seen that, Josh? Mm-hmm. It's interesting. I haven't decided. I've talked to a bunch of different people about it. I haven't wrapped my mind around it. Yeah. I have like an account ready to go. I don't know if you can liquidate the Bitcoins, but all right. So can we get – this is one of the people – that I know Gruen's like, we can get Paris Hilton. I did a pizza review of Paris Hilton. I love Paris Hilton. I'd love to get Paris Hilton on the show. I guess I've, we ask all the I've time. I've DM'd with in, her. I've DM'd with her, and she you said ask she was going to come on a, like, remember when I had, I was doing that, like, movie podcast with Noah. Do yes. Remember that? Yep. She said she was going to come on that, so I don't know why she wouldn't come on this. Yeah, let's get her on. Um, other than that, I guess we're just waiting for Stromedy, right? No, we they don't have many. Do you not have the, all all the sheets? There's headlines? There's oh, wait, I got There's more. another got sheet, more. yeah. Yeah. Well, what's this? Bree to credit Reddit relationship subreddits? What the hell does that mean? Oh, yeah. So for the questions this week, we found a subreddit about relationships and it's pretty insane. And the questions are funny. And I was going to ask you guys some of those questions and get your advice on them. Okay. So let's do that at the end then, right? Yeah. At the end. Okay. Sweet. I didn't see this. Oh, yeah. There is another sheet. So I, (laughs) listen, I flew out to LA. I flew out to L.A. to do Dixie's show. And by the way, Dixie is supposed to do this show. She's, I do have her producer's contacts, so we'll get her on. But she yeah. ghosted me when I was like, hey, you coming on now? But Damn. she fucking railroaded me. She goes on her podcast. She roasted Play the you. clip she says here with her Dixie and uh, Charlie. This is, this is assault. This was nothing short of assault. She violated okay, I, you. I, I don't know if I've seen this yet. This is assault, Josh. This is what, like, you can go to prison for. Like, Dave, we were like, you were a little but, nervous because, not really, you were actually weren't nervous. I was shaking. I was shaking. I know, but, like, you weren't nervous about what, I feel like you weren't nervous about what he was going to say because it was, like, yeah. it was just weird to, like, have him there because it's such a, it was such a build up. He was a lot shorter than I thought. He's a little short. I just feel like, David. Wow. Every- what, what the fuck was that? Ah. <laughs> uh. That one hurts. And by the way, how tall is fucking Noah? He's not that tall. No, I, no, thought he I was mean, the same height as you. He's like, he's got to be 5'10. I feel five like 11. I'm almost eye to eye with Noah. Yeah. Maybe he just appears bigger because he has like Look at muscles big and arms. shit. Yeah. Was Dixie the same height as you or was she shorter? No. Okay, I was she's taller sh- than her. That, okay. was, that was just plain assault. That was like, <laughs> hey, fly out, do this show. Do me a favor, and by the no, way, when I'm you're walking away, on. I'm gonna fucking take a sledgehammer to the back of your head. Yeah, she's gonna she's gonna make you even shorter. She's gonna yeah. cut off your legs. Yeah, Gosh. that was fucking Ugh. assault. Gives us something to talk about when she comes, I guess. What is this stool scenes clip? Yeah, right here. She's wearing like boots that. too. Wow, she really dressed up for the pizza review, eh? I feel like now I underdressed. I think I just wore a hoodie. Well, we went straight from her show. It looks to, like she just got out of like a, a stylist, a music video. She, she did because we we oh. filmed her YouTube show right before. In the middle of it, we went and did the pizza review. Okay, but come on, I mean, I'm taller than her. It was <laughs> yeah, definitely taller than her. Definitely taller than her. I wouldn't say. I'm not short. I'm average. Right. That's what short guys say, though. <laughs> Five ten and a half. Yeah, that is what short guys say. Thank you. Are we allowed to show this clip? Everybody behind cameras, sound. Look at him. What a, what a, what a kiss up. All our merch. Well, uh, I kind of have a job. I just, I'm going to, I don't think Dave knows, but I'm going to come in and like be kind of annoying. He, he didn't kinda do like that. Job. All right. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't. But my expectation, it'll be funny. I think it'll be like too, too sarcastic right, people going at up, it. Please. And I'm just going to come and be like the... Basically, what they told me is just be like, just go in there and make it your home. And then just like, act like nothing's going on. Just be like the annoying boyfriend. And I was like, say less. So, should be good. We'll see. I mean, I'm towering <laughs> over her. Yeah, Dave, I mean, you're, you're looking like the same like, height in this. You're not shorter than her, that's for sure. Not sure. I'm way taller. All right, so I don't know if anything's happening on this. This is fine. But, yeah, no, it didn't do that. Um, so that was oh, it. He, that, didn't even, it was, he didn't even come out and do anything? No, they, like, I think they, and they basically said the same thing to me. It's, like, supposed to be a very impromptu, like, just two friends, like, bullshitting. Um, right. Did she live but, up to your standards, the Dixie standards? 
I think it's a good question. She the funniest thing she said was at the very end. I forget what it was. I, I I'm not gonna say she was nervous, but it felt like she was a little bit nervous. Well, she said right. in the podcast that she was shaking. She did say that the Alexa girl or whoever was like doing it with her. I don't know who does that with her now, but uh, it seemed like she was trying to tell Dixie like, "No, you weren't nervous. No, you weren't nervous." <laughs> but she but was. like Dixie was saying like, "Yeah, I was kind of nervous." Yeah. Dave. It, she, I, I got that vibe, yes. What about uh, Dixie saying that Josh lowers his voice? Was that what you were thinking of? That was actually the funniest part. Yeah, I, oh, I forgot okay. what she said. At the very end, when we're off camera, I, I, something about doing the podcast, like, is Josh going to lower his voice to sound like a man? That's funny. funny. I feel like Dixie's voice always, already sounds like a man, so she just doesn't have to do it. <laughs> Damn. Just a real long, like, uh, hey, guys, I'm going to... You know what I mean, talking about? I, yeah, <laughs> I do. Someone's making fun. I, I will say this. The show... Was wildly professional. Like it, it Her I was on was crazy. Yeah. That's what you were saying. Looks like yeah, the Ellen I, show. I did, self, I did self, Seth Meyers like late night. This was ten times the production. Great, like swag. Great everything. So we'll get her on this. Um, right. So Josh, another. This happens every single episode. Another <laughs> endeavor from you. You got dog food with Snoop Dogg. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty sweet. And Michael Bublé. So Michael Bublé. What? Yeah, what no. a combo. It is a crazy combo. It's pretty, pretty legendary. Do you even approve these things, or do you just say <laughs> yes course. to everything? Do you this just... was like uh, this. This was something we started like six months ago. It's been forever. Okay, it's gotta have been so long. Like this was, this was like before, or just like right at the start of Triller. Like s- such a while ago. We gotta. I, I want to smoke with Snoop Dogg. That's my goal. And, um, um, we almost um, try to get him in awesome. LA. Now. Did Noah actually get dragged for not picking Dixie in the BFF draft, or are we just saying he did? No, oh, he got dragged on. hard on TikTok. He did. Let's see it. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, all of his comments were like, you are disrespecting your girlfriend. The relationship is going to end. You're such an asshole. <laughs> Yo, that is funny. Charlie. 100%. Who's Addison. Addison. Who's your second? Addison. That's crazy, because I was second to pick for the female, and I got backlash for picking Addison. It's, numer- it's, it's, it's a number game. Like... This has nothing to do with Dixie. Like, I'm getting shit for not picking Dixie. Um, this has nothing to do. It's not a who it's, you like more. Yeah, exactly. And it's not like, oh, she has more followers. I'm gonna hang out with her. No, it's a numbers game. Like, yeah. She has the second most followers on TikTok. Why she would does. I not pick her. Yeah. It all makes me feel like you're about to go to war. Yeah. That was crazy. That was like a movie scene. But yeah, everyone is soft, bro. I had to comment because I felt bad for Noah because I was like, damn, is he getting dragged for this? So I was like, I'll comment a couple of times. Hopefully people will like, be like, oh, no, now we hate Josh. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was hoping that would happen. That is soft. I mean, that was clearly a joke. Um, and, and clearly just business moves. 100%. Guy's just, guy's just making money. How's he going to How's he gonna buy a house for him and Dixie? Not going to be off of Dixie's money. Addison makes more. He's going to get a nicer <laughs> house now. I'm writing notes to myself as I do this. We gotta get Asin Ray. She said she'd do it. A lot of people say they'll do the show. And then Asin Ray, Madison Beer, who's now gone ghost mode, but I'm gonna be in her. Well, I'm not gonna say it. What I was gonna say. I'm gonna be aggressively trying to get her on the show. Uh, we gotta get these people. They all said they'd do it. Bad Bobby. Bad Bobby? Started an old, Bad, baby. Right? Bad, baby. Bad baby. Bad baby. Bad baby. Bad baby. Almost got it. Bad Bobby. <laughs> well, why don't you spell it baby then? Because she's, she's trying yeah. to be different. Because she's so bad, bro. Yeah. She's, she's so bad. She doesn't even spell her name correctly. She's too That's bad. That's starts... against, against the laws of just like. Bad baby starts an OnlyFans at the stroke of midnight on her 18th birthday. Broke OnlyFans record, making a million bucks in six hours. She went viral on Catch Me Outside Girl on Dr. Phil. Made a couple <laughs> songs. Did this and that. Aren't we getting her? Isn't she coming to you, Josh? Aren't we? She was supposed to be, but I think she canceled. She bailed? She, she did bailed. bail for this week, yeah. Fuck. What the fuck, bad baby? She yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know if we're supposed what, to what say this either, but she was mad at our people, like Barstool Social, for blogging that she was the catch me outside girl. Like she didn't want to be referred to as that. She wants to be referred to as bad baby only. Play the clip for Dave to remind him of who this is. Yeah. You know who this I, girl is. I looked her up. I mean, I looked her up. This is how she got her start. Well, she's not going to like well, this then. Yeah, she's going to hate this even more now. Yeah, she's never coming on. Ain't nobody going to catch me. Because you're too streetwise? Yup. And all these hoes laughing like so funny. But why doesn't she want to be known for Talking this? Talking about the audience. 
that they're laughing at her. Did, did you say the, the, the hoes are laughing? Yep. So the audience are a bunch of hoes. I like yep. that, baby. Yeah, right in that grill, bad baby. Hard. Catch me outside. How about that? Huh? Catch me oh. outside. How about that? I love her. Catch me outside. <laughs> See. What is that? Mean? What I, I don't know why she, she don't want to be known for that. Well, I mean, like, yeah, that's who. That's how she you got, got a famous. couple. She got a couple songs that kind of like get your head bumping a little bit too. Like I don't, I don't like saying it, but sometimes like I hear a bad baby song and I'm like, oh, good she seven fifteen million followers on Instagram, bad baby. She said so, we could talk uh, about Doc, Dr. Phil thing. She, she, I think it's her people. You know, like sometimes PR publicists will say certain things and like, will the girl actually really care? I don't know, but I think she'll come on eventually. Right. Well, did, yeah. Did she not just like do a whole huge thing, like saying how like Doctor Phil has like these weird like camps or something? She exposed Doctor Phil. And she just come Dr. out and try Phil. to say like Doctor Phil. So that would be bringing back her old image, isn't it? Yeah, she totally. exposed him. like. And if you're making that much money on OnlyFans, why don't you want the promo? It is a little crazy. People waiting for her. What do we know? What she posted on her OnlyFans? No. Didn't buy it. Couldn't, couldn't say I subscribed, but. M me neither. I, no, wonder I can't what that do is. that it's after little, the yeah. treasure. A one. little fucked up though that that many people are waiting like at eight at the stroke of eighteen. Right, the stroke of it. That's what yeah. that almost feels even more illegal. Actually, it feels Yikes. a little illegal because it wouldn't all the content she made. She was underage Be when she made it. Eighteen. Well, who, we yeah. don't know what it is, right? I know. That's a good ass point, actually. I know. I was it thinking kind about of that. Would have to be. It would have to be. She would, would have to be. A, a, 17 year old posting them if they uploaded right at 12 no way she's t unless they're like camp like selfie pics real quick yeah and yeah, i doubt they, i mean that. but if it's she, maybe nudity. she's just getting flexible with the angles so they just it may not be know. nudity could just be pictures i doubt it's nudity yeah so then yeah i, I mean, doubt it's just pictures though because then there would have been a whole outrage of people being like i wanted to see tits you know true. what i mean that always yeah. happens when it's just pictures that's true. actually very true James God, Charles know. drops a tearful grooming apology, claims he was desperate. Isn't this old? Didn't we already go through I all think this it's shit? Like, I think it's no, like a new one it's now. New. I, don't, I can't keep up, man. So he just posted his latest apology video, which I don't get how you can post an apology video. Don't you? Shouldn't you go to jail for being a, a pedophile? Is he actually? <laughs> yeah, he's like, he... lots of kids have come forward. So it's alleged. It's alleged, yeah. So let's see the apology. But he, had, he admits to it. Amidst of what? Like talking to underage kids. Knowingly? Like knowing they're underage and asking like for He like said he was desperate. And stuff? Well, Play it, yeah. I fully understand my actions and how they are wrong. Uh, there's no excuse for them and I don't plan on making any in this video either. I was being reckless and after looking back and finally realizing that this was my own fault, I started doing a lot of thinking and reflecting to really try and figure out why I was actually allowing myself to be so reckless in the first place. In all other areas of my life, my friends, my business, I like to think of myself as pretty put together and on top of things and I couldn't understand why relationships were the one outlier. Why were they not working? Why? was this area of me so different? And I finally, finally came to a conclusion. It sucks and it is ridiculously embarrassing to admit this, but I think I have to, and that is that I'm desperate. That's brutal. I do understand that with these videos coming to light, it's really starting to, not even starting, it's really looking, period. Like I'm actively searching for younger people to be in a relationship with. and. I just want to say firsthand that that is absolutely not the case. Looking back now and just trying to do my best to piece this all together in my head, I think that my lack of experience when it came to dating growing up and then all of a sudden having a lot of attention from different types of men, some for good reasons and some for bad reasons, really affected me in ways that I didn't quite understand. Um, I honestly just thought that I had really, really bad luck and that I was being taken advantage of when that wasn't the okay we got to stop this video yeah, yeah it's the same so I, he doesn't admit i i think what he's saying is he's just been right fuck i'm reckless i sling it not underage but like he's he gets approached and he doesn't you know he's keeps getting in these situations people want to use him expose him but i don't think he's saying like i knowingly was doing shit with underage i think he's just like yeah someone hits me up they don't say the age i'm reckless i start doing shit that's my vibe on that he said he was actively dating kids in high school on a, on a podcast. I think it was the Logan Knowingly? Paul. 
He was like, yeah, I was talking to kids in high school. And then he like slipped up and was like, but they were seniors. And like, I don't know. It was just sketchy. Seniors in high school. And also he he monetized that video and made like $14,000 off of it. And people are pissed about that, that he monetized this, his apology video. This is where the world is so crazy and the disconnect yeah. between like TikTok and real life. And like what well, like people try to cancel me over like a joke that's clearly a joke. And then you have, like this is he's just like fuck. madness. And it's just like, yeah. it's like nothing. Madness. I don't, I don't, don't get it. That is fucking, like, I, I'm so on a different page. I'm like, well, he can't actively have known because he'd be That's what I, fucking like in jail or something. That is right? crazy. I get the reckless. I'm fucking reckless every day. It's a new video, but that's like, I'm not thinking a girl's going to like put it out, but there's nothing like illegal. I'm just, I'm like, yeah, I'll sling it. I'm not slinging right. it anymore. I've changed that, but that's fucking crazy. Jeez. Speaking of that disconnect, people were mad at no the TikTok disconnect. People were mad at Noah because when we filmed that pod in LA, we obviously didn't release it for a couple of weeks, and then all this extra stuff came out. And on the pod, he said something like, "James Charles like gets canceled all the time. He'll bounce back." So they thought he was like approving him grooming people. Oh my god, that's so bad, bro. Yeah. Uh, that's when funny. in reality, like we filmed it way before that. I picked him from my house. I picked James Charles for my house. Fuck, I have your Trisha house is off to and a James bad Charles start. in my house. When did this all go down with him? I know he was on Dixie's show too. He posted this video last week. That's crazy. But like man. it's been a weird like it's been thing a long where allegations time. have been coming out against him for like six months. Yeah. Well, it never ends. Once it starts in the allegations, it's it it just steamrolls. So there, yeah. there's very little you can do. Thanks to SteveMan.com for sponsoring BFFs, fastest growing show on YouTube and just in life. I made that fact up, but I think it is. SteveMan.com offers diverse assortment of men's footwear, every occasion, dress, boots, casual sneakers. I've actually switched to their uh, bolo because it looks exactly like the kind I used to buy, except much cheaper, better price point. Everything's under 200 bucks. Steve Man has guys covered this spring with classic looks that fit seamlessly into your wardrobe. Um, you know, comfort, versatility, quality materials. I've worn them actually, which is a great sign. I didn't hurt my feet either. Right when I put them on, they broke in nicely. They fit perfectly. The bolo is a clean, minimal sneaker that can work during the day while you sit at the computer or night cruising around the city. That's what I wear all the time. And it does do both. They get the Malo, a leather high top, elevate your style from any classic basketball sneaker. Um, adds a little style to that. And again, if you listen to BFF, they got 20% off the men's collection at steveman.com. They only let you use it once per customer, February 24th through April 30th. So time's starting to run out. Uh, Steve Madden, you can also get his memoir, How I Disrupted an Industry, Fell from Grace, Came Back Stronger Than Ever, Candid Account of the Shoe Legend's Rise, Fall, Come Back Over His uh, Historic 30-Year Career. He's actually in Wolf of Wall Street as well. Oh, okay. So go support the show. Cheaper than the like designers, but look the same. Can't tell the difference. Just as comfortable. SteveMadden.com. All right, BFFs. Alex Cooper, welcome in live in your hometown now. Oh, God. That sounds weird. It almost is weird. You're looking like at me like. You. I haven't seen you in forever. You're looking at me like I'm a disgrace. I've I'm seen not you looking here. at you a disgrace. I know. I know. It's crazy that I moved here. It well, still we feels new. We had a big thing. And I don't care. Because they didn't even friendly. tell you? No, no. That was I didn't care. You never told me. <laughs> oh. But after we, like, rehashed and moved on with well, a big controversy call her daddy, it's like, I'm going to be in the office. I'm going to be friends with everybody. There's a virus, <laughs> David. There's a virus. I don't care. But it was like. No, you know what? You like, you're not even in the a office. A minute later, you were in London. I was in my apartment most of it. And then but, you're in Miami. You no, know, I know. It's, I'm just Barcel saying. Barcelona Sports headquarters not in Miami. Not no, no but, I know. I'm not uh, in Miami. Uh, I'm in LA doing work. Anyway, there was a hesitation. Are you gonna move it there? You were like, no. No, it, the, the headquarters will still always. It, I feel be when I look at York, bar stools, there may like, be, yeah. there may be like a satellite office there. Mm. Like Gaz Paul was already texting me. A guy, he's, he's basically trying to scope out where he can live in my house. That's what he's <laughs> doing today. <laughs> Gaz is the ultimate greatest dick rider. Yeah. He just like loves his life and like I wish I was Gaz. Well he he, he paid his dues 15 No he years. did. He did. And now he gets it. to relax on your couch. Okay so last time we had you on this you caused all sorts of headlines. Um, <sighs> Big like, ones. And, then, and just like drama that lasted for Do you, I don't you know if you say. realize how long calling uh, Bryce Sid the Sloth like 
lasted. And by he, the way, can did. I just say thank you for taking that off of my back, by the way, because I used to be my label. I was the Sid the Sloth kid. Wait, I was why? like the, People just thought I looked like him. You're like the lower version now that I'm staring at your face. He's like the epitome. Mm. Yeah, but you're he's, like, he's, he's got a, he's a good looking Yeah, you're very good looking. Like vibe Thank to you. him. Yes, <laughs> boy band. Yeah, but when did you- You're like the creepy old manager. <laughs> no, that's Mike Gruen who's out there. Oh, okay. um, <laughs> question, do you know how long that drama lasted? I don't because I remember being like- By the way, you said I looked good earlier today. What the fuck? No, you know, sorry. And then I turn into the, the yeah, creepy know, sorry, old sorry. fucking manager. You're more like, you're no. more like, like the Michael Jackson friend. What? The per, no, like the was... diddler? Michael Jackson's like diddled kids. <laughs> You just Dave called him a pervert. It, it was supposed to be more of like Michael Jackson. It was supposed to be more of like a joke. I was hoping for like a joke and move on. I was hoping for like, haha, right, ha, right, let's not look it into it. it. Yeah, meanwhile, like Dave is molesting all the we young TikTokers. No, no, sorry. I am. That's a that's a headline. Not there. that's hey, that's tweet that. False. Tweet that. That's not happening at all. Um. Okay. So I didn't realize like the gravity of the situation. I remember at the time because remember I was in London. I was in London. Falling in love, okay, Sue. This is your boyfriend? Is this your boyfriend yeah. now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And is so, he public? Do we know who he is? No, I'm keeping him private. I think I know who he is. Well, don't say it. Do you, By the way, I kept Because, because I, kept I feel like somebody private. sent me something Doesn't where they, work. they mapped it out. And you guys did, well, did similar stories at the same time. And, like, it was it Dave, was stop strings. coming for me. This is about Sid the Sloth. Okay. So true. I'm <laughs> in London, and Dave's like, oh, like, let's do the pod. And at the time, the time change is seven hours. So it's, mm. like, 11 o'clock at night when I'm filming with you guys. I'd already been drinking. I'm like, all right, like, here we go. Like, let's do this for Dave. Like, let's do Dave a Not solid. for me, eh? Wow. Not you. Didn't know you. Let's do my boss a solid. Like, He's asking me to do fucking I content. Do. I do so much for this man. <laughs> So then I get on, and I had like, see, I'd obviously seen TikTokers. I'm not gonna be like, I but you never didn't seen like him. specifically know. No, you and wouldn't have like know. seen a picture of me and been like, that's Josh versus that's Bryce. I know. Yeah, yeah, I know. yeah. yeah. Well, this was fast. I asked you to do this. She said yes, fast. The first one. Yeah. I think Alex, for everything, she understands the power. I assume that they help. That oh, they totally. Huge audience. Oh my gosh. After that comment, I was like getting, even though it was hate, like. Hate views are views. Mm -hmm. So I was like, give me the fucking right. hate views. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like right. jacking That's off to I mean. the hate views. Well, the people thing were that, so mad. The yeah. thing I loved is like, you just, you just kind of like kept going and then you knew when it was like, oh, I won with like yeah, the comebacks. Yeah, yeah. You knew when it was like, hmm, I feel like my, my shit was solid. I don't really need to say more. There was also yeah. very much, a, and I, I obviously have been doing this with you and I'm, can't be more familiar with like the daddy gang. Yeah. There are audiences that didn't know each other. Like yeah. I saw the TikTok gang being like, who the fuck is this old lady? Like they yeah, were saying yeah. about you. And, and where yeah. does the I love how like I love how it goes back just to like how like the one disc was just like, you're old. And then how did it translate to Dude, Alex being old? I, I, don't, I know. It's like who's this old lady? I know, and I think it's He took it personal. Yeah, he, he got very upset, but the one, um, Griffin just reminded me, because we were flirting backstage, mm. um, <laughs> he was reminding me that the, then the one kid also had, like, dyed his hair, mm -hmm. because I said that his hair was ugly, and Blake, I was like, yeah. oh my god, and then that's when I think I knew I won, just because it was in terms of, like, I said my shit, and then they're all like, fuck you, you mean nothing, meanwhile, like, kids are dyeing their hair, kids are, like, getting upset. No, the, so be like, okay. the best one was when it was, like, the tweet from Blake saying like he doesn't even know who you are, or like you're and then he, and then he pull, and then you yeah. pull up the like little like send receipt of like the right spark. of him like and, and also I, I liking gave, my pictures. And Blake then he's knows I gave ago. him a hard I gave him a hard time for that in person. I was like, dude, yeah, you can't, well, and that's where it, you can't have hard. receipts lying around, man. Like you got a little dude, like it was hard too because I remember his I don't I don't know if they're still dating, but his girlfriend at the time like is was daddy gang like listens to the mm -hmm. podcast and I felt bad because yeah, still you girl. Said I didn't want to right. yeah like I didn't want to throw her under the bus but I was like yeah wait but like I have an entire like description of you and how you treat your girlfriend in my dms and her asking for advice like you know who I am also because you like my bikini pictures so like don't get it twisted bitch <laughs> what about all right we had by Noah. the way, they're still dating and it's going amazing. Yeah, yeah, I've seen them like on TikTok. They look happy. I'm they're, happy. No, for they're, they're, yeah. And, and well, you you made peace clearly with. Well, Griffin always Griffin can laugh right. at himself, so it's like he's always that. That's he why you that. You yeah, he didn't take it. Yeah. That. yeah. Bryce w w is patched up. There was more to the so Bryce and I, and I got at it and. Okay. I was more like, he was mad at me for what you said, basically, because I never fucking oh. said anything, but then I started calling him Marshmallow Soft. But they had a little tension. That's been squashed. 
the we had Noah Beck on here yesterday. Uh, the one we're still confused by yeah. is you I, saying I need to know. you had in, because that seems to be a very real relationship. And you said it was fake. You're like someone. And, and not only did you. We like, have the clip. We like, have the clip. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, I know we, what I said. We should, uh, we should watch. Like, I know what I said. It was so a very, like, was I that? know. I thought you maybe just said you something. You said you had like, It was like, I got the inside I think info. Dixie is amazing. I would, like, I follow her. She follows me. I know I, like, wanted, she was going to, like, have me on her YouTube show. I'm doing that. Oh, yeah. First? <laughs> <laughs> I want to be first. Um, so, no, I'm, like, like, Instagram, like, friends, let's say, with Dixie. Okay, I think yeah, she's yeah, great. Yeah. I just... Say it. Have, I'm not going to say it because it's not, no. like... It's, you it's, said it's, you it's hate like, fake relationships. No, no, no. Yeah. I and you said it. you were going to sling it before the pog. Yeah, you started. said you were going to... Nothing, gonna so nothing with this because it's bigger than, like, it's, it's, like, not... Like, that's fucked up to do. But so you, you stand, stand by, by that, that, that Yeah, 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 yeah. So you fake. still think it's fake? Yeah. Uh, there's no way you... There's no way you actually think that, though. I think she... We Why? Let's just say when I was at Tana Mojo's house doing an interview with Tana. <laughs> I want it. I don't there know. There was that. something said to me that made a lot of sense. Okay. It's like it's like I don't impossible know that Tana's at this like point for the lead. Bo- the, like I don't know that I trust everything coming out of the that. The stamp house of like much. approval. I right. No, no, no I'm not saying Tana. Tana I don't believe anything. I'm not I like she yeah. said it, but yeah. that house, it's like people people just say shit around here. Oh. You know what? Maybe the they are in love. Maybe things have taken a turn. Who knows? Next. Like, I could see somebody <laughs> sitting there and being like, it's fake. And you're like, oh, it's fake. I heard that. But they were talking out of turn. And, and by the way, like, the whole, like, YouTubers just always, I feel like, talk about TikTokers and feel like they know what they're talking about. Like, we used to get, right. used to get accused of, like, buying likes and followers because our engagement was just fucking better than theirs. Right, that's a bit, yeah, you guys have, like, beef with YouTubers. Wait, what, isn't there a fight happening? Yeah, YouTubers, YouTubers versus, versus TikTokers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's that going? Are you, I'm he's not, not fighting. Oh. Bryce is, like, the headliner. Mm. You're gonna punch people? Well, no, he's not person. in it. Oh, you're gonna, like, That is Bryce's. how, that I, I'm is not how a part fighting of, goes. I'm not a part okay. of it. What is this? Did so, we, so you don't like Addison's new song? Have you met her? I didn't say that. I no, it does that. sound like I Selena Gomez. I said that it sounds exactly like Selena Gomez, and I wasn't sure if Selena Gomez did the vocals for Do her song. Do you like the song? I don't know if it's that I don't like it. I think it's a little too... Forever 21? Yeah, yeah, like that headache yeah. in front of... But, like, I think that I'm... Headache? I think that she... No, I think that she's, like, doing great with her career. I personally just... Is she dead again? You know? I don't know. I don't think so. I feel like every... How old is she? So she's a 20-year-old girl. 20, 20. Like that, no, yeah. I think it's great what she's doing. I almost... I like the ones that are more, like, acoustic where you can, like, hear their voice, if that makes sense. Like, I want right. to hear her sing. Right. Because I bet she's a great voice. No, but well, it's too wrong. Pop. Wrong. Oh, okay. Because. <laughs> nope. Because she of the. Uh, she would have. Oh, if song. she had that great voice, she would have showed it. Like, so his girlfriend, Nessa. Can your sing. girlfriend has a great voice, right? Yeah. And the song. Wait, she's your girlfriend now? Yes. No, oh, shut you up. S- you said it. Yeah, just yeah they said are. It. They're, they're very clearly. Wait, I think that's. They're very clearly boyfriend girlfriend. He, he just, said it. If a guy was on a talk show and just was like, uh, they do this. It's like a running shtick. But she can say it. really are. Like I'm serious. Yeah okay. right. Yeah right. Look, look how look how serious I am. Zero smile. Exactly. Breaking headlines. They broke up. Okay. Next. Oh that, that's Anthony. Hey. What's up man? Hi. What a world. <laughs> um. So what is this that we want to show? I have a question. I got a side note. L. A. How? Yeah. I feel like I. You got to like party yet or no? No, I'm very happy. I, I'm actually happy I moved here in a pandemic because I feel like it's been nice to not have to like fully go into the mm. social yeah. scene. Mm. So I can kind of just like hang out, work, do my thing, and I don't feel like obligation. You also can like, like slowly transition. Yeah, into yeah, it, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So like the only interactions I've had is when I'm like doing interviews. We yeah. are, so I'm probably, we've had our ups and downs clearly. We're on up. I, I think I'm probably the biggest like advocate or fan to like how big of a personality you've been. Where do you like, can you go out? Are you just like? Um. Yeah. Of course, I can go out. Like, are you? No, I don't mean that. <laughs> I are you am getting, like swamped by people wherever you go. It's cool because I felt like the I didn't know what LA was gonna be like. Mm-hmm. I've I've met so many daddy gang when I'm out. Um. But they're very chill in LA. Like I feel like New York is different. It's just like craziness. Like LA, That's everyone. The thing. Yeah, LA they're chill. People are just, everyone they're more knows. used to it. It's yeah. like it's around them. They right? see it's celebrities. Yeah, yeah. LA is like a celebrity world. So right. it's like 
people will just be like on Well, and I'm not a Melrose celebrity. I have a podcast. Yeah. And anyway. so like, I feel Shut like. Shut up. You're a celebrity. You're a celebrity. If, you're, if I am, you are. If he is, oh, I thanks am, Thanks for you linking are. me in. No, but like, I don't go out and be like, please don't talk to me. Like, No, I don't I, mean it like yeah. that. But I mean, so like, like yeah, yeah, if I've people see you, they're going to be like, that's how it's Yeah, Cooper. yeah, yeah. Uh, like, I yeah. mean, social media is the new celebrity. Game. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yes. it's like. Daddy Gang is all in LA, shout out. And you're not gonna say on the show, we don't know what's next for you. I have no idea what you're planning because you don't tell me necessarily what <laughs> you're planning. So I, I tell you all the time, we text all the time, Dave. Yeah, tons. We FaceTime every night. Yep, every night. all the time. <laughs> what is this, do we want watch this? No, text you in, text you, we, we tuck her in. Talk, we talk, we do little voice messages like, once, hi, miss you, <laughs> sleep tight, Once every two David. months. Like, we want the bed, yeah. bed bugs by yeah. something's yeah. up. Um, Something's up. Yeah, no attractive girls at Harvard. Are we watching this? Is a TikTok trend? What? They said to watch it and react to it. Yeah, they made a trend out of it. Harvard is across the river, or the. Yeah. Yes, and so. Sorry to Harvard people, but there's not yeah. that many hot girls at Harvard. Beat All my these friends, then. People are ratchet. Alex, just say you can't get into this school. Harvard is across the river, or the. Yeah. Yes, and so. Sorry to Harvard people, but there's not yeah. that many hot girls at Harvard. No. All these fucking people are ratchet. Alex, just say you can't get into this school. Dude, I used to say in the beginning days of Call Her Daddy, men, I want you to take this girl's head and I want you to shove it through the drywall and fuck her so her head can't come out of the yeah, drywall. Right. We literally <laughs> did everything for clickbait, and it worked. I'm sitting here today. You know Correct. what I mean? Yes, I'm so, very well. So no worked. shit. I literally said, "BU girls are fucking busted." I went to BU. I was like, everyone was hideous there. So if you're like semi good looking in Boston, you can thrive. If you go to Arizona State, you are one of many hot bitches. Correct. Right. Exactly. Yeah. That's yes. what I'm saying. So right. Sorry to anyone in. Did you know that was North going on? I didn't. So they're just mad that I said Harvard girls aren't hot. Yeah, and it's like, why did always the Harvard guys come over to Boston College and BU? Well, I mean, I I was just it's a fact. That's a factual statement. Yeah, Harvard student body pound for pound is not as attractive. And I love how they're coming. Are they just coming for me? You hear my old co-host in the background say yes. Yes. Yeah, it's just you. Okay. Well, but (laughs) this didn't happen. And Isn't I, know it you, I know you hate, but you brought her up. Did you hear what she did to me? Like tried to do to me like three weeks ago? No. On a live stream, she's like, I have allegations against Dave Fortnite. Any girls out there who have allegations, come forward. Saw that. She said that. Saw that. Bananas move. Uh, and like we, I heard that she was just, trying to say you know that what we that is? Sex. That's just a little like fishing. That's yeah. a little bit of like, I'm gonna make up I have something Alex can to speak see if to, other people. Like, and and I know there's nothing out there, but she could have said anything, and people Bro. would like believe it. Yeah, well, it's like, oh, people right, eat it up. I hate to say it, fuck that girl. What well, a wild thing to say. Well, I heard when people were like, she was allegedly saying like, you and I fuck. I never and heard that. I, oh my god, on like a podcast. Oh, she went on someone's podcast and was like, yeah, like who knows what Alex and Dave were doing. The woman was like, are you saying that they had sex? And she's like, I mean, <laughs> I was like, I never heard that. I was just. Dave, like, have we ever had sex? We have not. Look me in the eyes and say it to no, me. I can, <laughs> Just can so barely be in the same room together. I know, it's awful. The majority of our relationships. Oh, so. um, <laughs> yeah, no, but I just, yeah, there's, I mean, there's, I don't really like talking about it because I don't like giving people free clout. Alex, yeah. Alex does look a little bit like the, like, the horse track girls you have, though. Horse track? Yeah, like when you're going to the horse races. Oh, the like blonde. the girls I've the brought as a <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Oh. Blonde. I yeah. thought you Alex, yeah. Alex kind of meets She has those blonde hair. Standards. Yeah. But I work for him, and we have an HR department. Let's keep it safe here. Oh, yeah. No, <laughs> yeah, and, and, and I would hope. We don't see so. No, no we've we never hooked up. So, no, no. all right, we got a bunch of games. Um, oh, what do you, th- this move, by the way, I was supposed to say it to, I'm curious what you think of this move. What, You're going to be stunned when I tell you what this move is. So, I don't know if he's about to like, get yeah, up what? and do a move. Are you doing a dance move? No, I'm oh. just about to hit the renegade. So, there's a video of me, and we'll cut it if I don't do it. But I think I'm doing it. I'm getting like blackmailed, threatened to blackmail. Like it, it's basically as private a video, but it's just me. Oh, you're just jacking off. Yes, girl. I know. Is this is this a video you sent to a girl? And I know how it got out. I know the girl. I know everything. I'm not mad at the girl. I believe her version of events. But now it goes everywhere. Like colleges, I get 30 blackmail attempts a day. The that New York like paparazzi site you like, talked about you, today. Were you like talking in it? My face is in it. Did you did you say Wait, words? What no. is the issue? You so it's just a silent. I think, I, I, think I, I think we're putting on OnlyFans, fifty bucks, and we're gonna donate to the Barstool Fund. That's oh a, I mean God. amazing amazing Dave, cause. You're such a giver. I'm such a giver. 
Wait, but it's crazy. so graphic. You know what you could do? So you know what a great a tagline yeah, is? Yeah, but my dick's not in the sex tapes. Oh, uh, oh. oh so yeah, the, no, the tagline could be like, giver and a grower. Well, everyone knows that Dave's penis is large from his sex tapes. Everyone talks about it. It's not in the sex tapes. Well, everyone talks it. Oh, God, now everyone's gonna be like, so how does she know that? Yeah, it's well, locked. You, know, <laughs> you, every... you know what it looks like from the video. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's not in the sex tape. So, so is this just like a silent video of you like staring at the camera just like beating your meat? Yeah, Pretty much. Put it on OnlyFans. Pretty much. Wow. <laughs> we, I don't think wow. that's bad. I, think I mean, it was in the middle. We were going back and forth. So it was. It was right. No, yeah. I get it. Like in the moment, it's it, very it, What the girl claims happened, which I believe, because it's like we had hooked. It wasn't like a rando. And she, she said she showed somebody and blacked out and the, her friend took her phone. Which, and she had, like she found out. So when did I you know she was saving the video, or did you send it to her on iMessage? Wait, That's what said, the video is. Wait, Someone's she said recording. She blacked it. out, and her friend. Took her the friend video. took the phone as a screenshot, and when it went public, I immediately I'm like, oh, this is from her. I'm like, what the fuck? She sent me within two seconds screenshots of her screaming at her friend. So I believe it because she had it like right. She's like, oh my god, I was afraid this was gonna happen. Wait, hold on. She she sent you then videos of her screaming at her friend. No, the the. T the Text she screenshot in her text. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's like, look, I know. I found out that okay. they took it. And it's like, like someone I, recording his yes. the phone. They were blackmailing her. She it, was I got sick. the video Did and I had to be like, Dave, uh, there's a video. I'll just sling it. No, but snap or I message it. I, I texted it. it. Like texted it. Yeah. Dave, I think that Dude, you got some you got like just some like rookie moves, I feel like. I already had two seconds. Who cares? Wait, that's what I'm saying. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, you, because it's way more you graphic than anything your else. But you just said like, who cares, and then you just said, but it's more graphic. It's, so well, I don't care about me. It's like I we we're almost like I talked to Erica, our CEO. It's like, what do you think? I love you have to go to Erica about this. She doesn't care. I'm like, like, is this funny or is it like bad? She, Erica, like, Erica, every day. Erica's like, like watching like, Dave jack like, off. She's like, I do I like the angle. Yeah, like, has to put it up. He's like, I haven't watched it, but if you want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, That's um, hilarious. I, I, and I don't know how much money we'll make. I think it make a lot of money. <laughs> Who's this? Harry Jowsey. Uh, I saw, I saw him in an elevator at, at the one. Why are we listening to this out of nowhere? I wasn't sure if he was going to give me tea, and you wanted to hear it. What's your Fine. tea? Oh, oh my <laughs> gosh, <laughs> listen your, to how fucked drama. up this is. So I was interviewing an Australian man this week, and Harry, Harry and you love that dude. Yeah, he's so funny with me. Like our chemistry, we get into a room and we don't stop talking for two hours. Our I saw a video. So, saw a so video well. about butthole whiskers. The, the bum, I saw that. The that bumhole, was fucking funny. Bum whiskers. Bum he's fuck. funny. And every time we yeah, do episodes, yeah. people like it. Like I think in person, I've told. No, on. I've told him in person. Like Harry, you're on the fast decline. You're a nobody. You're a loser. So you're saving his We got Girls love him though. Saving. Mm. No, I'm just kidding. No, he's great. But um, but every time he comes on, like yeah, girls love him and it's a good vibe. So he starts my. I think Barcel tweeted it. Like he starts my episode bit being like, oh yeah, by the way, like I have some some drama for you. About a year ago, I sucked someone's penis. <laughs> Low job. Just once. Just one time. Just one Your time. Life. Just went in there. Did it was for a business meeting. <laughs> what? It's something about me in business meetings. You did it that, at the meeting? No. Oh, I was like, <laughs> like it was what? for a business meeting. Okay, no, no, oh. listen. This is like what a stress reliever before the yes, meeting. The guys like, it like gets nervous? me in the mood to make deals. Okay, let's go. No, oh, okay, so okay. I hooked up with this guy, and then Harry tells me that he is running his mouth around LA. Saying give bad head. Yeah. No, no, no great reviews which is great oh, but okay. he's telling people that we hooked up and i thought we had this like secret that we were going to keep forever like we weren't going to tell anyone we were going to keep it to Don't ourselves you hate that. and logan paul is really bad at keeping a secret it was logan paul it was logan paul so that's the tea i knew you two fucking hooked we didn't, up anyways. but that's the thing we didn't fuck and so now he's going around like like describing listen I knew you guys hooked up. He's the one who fucking started putting little whispers in your ears. I know you contracts. think that. I know that. I think it's just when we smelt the LA air, we were like, ooh, like we could be someone. Mm. Mm. He put it, I mean, he he worked he's with us now to right. a degree. But right. he, he, he Dude, what's go what's going on with like Logan Paul shit just coming out on this pod? Yeah, yesterday I dropped Logan Paul shit too. Who? Bryce. Bryce, yeah. Oh yeah. Him yeah. and it's Addison. Like the whole Logan and Addison are now hanging oh. out because he thinks. Logan's hanging out with Addison? They were playing volleyball on the beach. Because together. Josie and I guess Bryce. See, I think that looks stupid. That's stupid. It's if Bryce is hanging out with your, who? Josie? Yeah. Josie. That's stupid for them to be like, by the way, blowjob is the same thing as sex. Doesn't matter. 
That's not true. It is. It is. I mean, it's so personal. Yeah, it, dick is. Full. It's like it's like basically it right there. Yeah, it is. A hundred percent. You should have just went I could, for it I all. could, I could almost see. 100%. I could almost see some people having the opinion like, I would rather more, get more, I, I more yeah. Like guys are more upset if the girl sucks a guy's dick and cheats on him than like fucks a guy. Yeah, yeah. you sucked his dick. Yeah, and some guys better. would be like, you can only do one. They're like, all right, I'll take head. Fair. So okay. it's a big deal. We're but I knew that fucking. He, I, I, I knew he put the. But I wanted to first. confirm that we didn't have sex, and it was a one-time thing. Right, but. Again. And it wouldn't have happened because my old co-host was supposed to be at that at that dinner with me, and she didn't show up. So maybe I wouldn't have done it. I don't regret <laughs> it. That seems like projection, but whatever. <laughs> uh, but she could have saved me from the awful decision. No, I love Logan. He's great. You you don't put. Whatever it doesn't matter. Um, what do we got? Are we gonna do games? Let's play. That games. was your tea. So your tea was your own that you sucked his dick. Yeah, well, I just wanted to clarify that I didn't have sex with him because a bunch of people were like, oh my God, she's fucked Logan Paul. I've never I, fucked Logan. I don't. Will you fuck Logan Paul? I think we're I know talking you have a boyfriend now. semantics at this point. Semantics? Yeah, like, oh, I didn't fuck him, but I blew him. Same shit. Well, I just wanted to clarify. You have. You, you, <laughs> but the reviews are in, folks. She does did know he how talk to glove publicly? Yeah, no, he was like saying, uh, like, I guess in like a large group gathering. I get that, by the way, all the time. That's the number one. What? what? Number two line girls use to hit on me is glow the glow. They connect oh the like yeah. your thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, we got games. Glow up, glow down, build the fuck boy. We'll glow go glow up. Yeah, oh, this is your glow up, glow down. Like glow, 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 yeah, glow, glow up, glow down. down. Okay, I'm so I'm definitely guaranteed I'm on this. Yeah. Oh, is this gonna be like all the sway boys? It's a it's a bunch of different people. Down. What does this mean? I don't understand. So that. you're we're gonna say if you glow if they glow up or glow down. It's gonna be a previous Better looking, picture. Worse looking. Yeah. Did they get better or worse? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It's going to be like old I picture versus you. them now. You're going to be stunned by a picture you see me in this. Hmm. You would be stunned by like if you saw a picture of me in ninth grade. So. Glow up or glow so down. fucking close. Down. That's only, that's only like a few months. Yeah, that's but. a weird one because they're just, he's just dressed differently. Oh, this is yeah. a little hot, yeah. I, I'd say he looks better in the first picture, but it's the same, same. thing. He just changed clothes. It's the same dude. And he just has like a lot of makeup on. I, I just, say, I just like the left picture more. Yeah. 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 I like yeah, 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 better, yeah. Okay. Okay. Griffin. Oh, God. Kind of looks Bo. like fucking Megamind Again. in the way. Yeah, he, look, he was too, this like, is what, skinny. What wardrobe does he look like? When they show me, it's going to be like 15 years difference. This. I, I think he, his face changed a little bit, though. He has no, he definitely looks face. like he has a more grown yeah. look, you know? Yeah, up. He's got the glow yeah, up. Yeah, up, up even though, sure. again, it's like less than a year. So this is this glow is up. a Gaz special year. <laughs> Oh, the hair. <laughs> the this is Blake Gray. Just Glow same. up, baby. These are, this is like, did he look better last week or this? <laughs> yeah, no, that's the bad. hair. It is, it the is hair. kind of it's it, the it's hair. bad. It, you're right. You're right, Dave. Should have been, should have been on the older photos. Same, same day. day. Yeah, same day. Chloe on the left looks better. You just gotta God pray damn. and hope for her. So, something's it. going Super on. Super nice when I met her. You did? Long time ago. I like on the left. Really? You do? Yeah. Left. That fucking s ferret on his upper lip is disgusting. I was just about to say that. The mustache. Dude's got to shave the And stop snack, wearing those though. muscle shirts. You don't, you don't like those. I don't like the beaters. We got, we got ripped. I was wearing one the other day. I got no, it's something about him wearing it. I, I, <laughs> like, I, I fucking generally issue with don't him. like it unless you're doing like a TV commercial. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so glow down? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Actually, uh, ooh. I like uh, the left. I like the normal athlete look. No, my. The four, just, that's no. like his. Forehead's the Guys only time it's looking, been shown. Yeah. It looks like he got a six. Again, in. these are five, <laughs> pretty close, but. I guess. But he looks really up. different now. Glow up has to be, right? Has to be a glow up. What was that thing with his underwear thing? Didn't he get shit on for like doing an underwear ad? It was yeah. like, it was like. Uh, Wasn't he holding his things like out yeah, here? Was that was the most shocking photo I've ever seen in my life. Because it came. Let him do that. And um, why did he let them? And why is he not model. doing that? He he no, do Dave, did you see him? He's like holding we, his we boxers out. We, Remember? We, we he had so the boxers shocking. and he had his hands in his, his pants. His hands are in his so pants. So they're like this, holding. but it's still like covering everything. But it's like know. a weird shot. Like, I mean, he was yeah. wearing. Kind of strange. Who says like, not pose like that? Yeah. I didn't know, yeah. He was wearing heels. Yeah. He got backlash. That's why he got the backlash. They said he was Why does? Yeah, and it was like. It wasn't even that. Why does he get to break the masculine stereotype? Because he's very straight edge. Well, maybe he. Maybe he is bi. No, that's not. I don't think. Have you talked to him about it, Dave? Him? Have you talked to him? There's a lot of like speculation about that. Oh, this is back on the that Noah is. Yeah. There is a weird amount of speculation. Him and James Charles. Well, that would be the fake relationship angle. Let's go to the next one. 
Who's this? Man, Ninja. Ninja. Oh. Yeah. Oh, down. Big I like time. him on the left. Yeah. Yeah, left photo is the best. He just, he just I mean. Yeah, and that, but he's the same. You can't, it's a year apart. I mean, he looks very different. Dude. He that does look kind of drastically different. Yeah. Maybe. What does he do? Streams, that's up. why. Like oh. Probably just like. I want to get on Twitch. You what should. What do you do on Twitch? I don't know. Hey, we just saw this kid. He just walked by. Kind of like on the right. Anthony, love I kind of like him on the right. He's got that like fucking dazed and confused vibe. Mm. The movie, yeah. have you seen that? He's kind of pulling it so. off. Yeah, I like is. the right, yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. He is pulling that off. So I feel like he should have a... He's got a uh, vibe on the right, nothing on the left. Yeah, regular like frat boy on yeah. the left. Okay. What, what, what are those hats called? Like the kang Kangle hats? Kangle. I feel like he should have one of those on. In Days and Confused, one of the guys wore those. Fuck. <laughs> right on. Oh, that's too bad. That we broke. Yeah, we just we broke it. Whole thing broke. Josh oh, Richards. Oh my see, God. see, I look very different. Right. Blow that's, up. That's just 2019. Yeah. You see, look 12. No, 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 no. You, you guys, like you were you, you don't under. You yeah. don't. I don't think you understand how almost. much I. Oh, I glow up. By the way, I was like when I first came out to LA, I was six foot one and 118 pounds. That's great. You're never gonna get fat. You've got true. a great body. That's true. You I never have to fat. work. Like on metabolism. everyone that like shamed you before, if they like shit on you for being skinny, ne like oh my yeah. god. I look at the guy. I'm like, if you're thin, that's like hot. You know what? I'll always hit the worst when it was like, I would wear shorts to school. And people and would then, make fun and then of people you. Would make fun. Of, but the worst one was when like, like let's say I was on the schoolyard like spitting game right with like some girl, and they were like, your legs are so skinny. I wish mine were like that. <laughs> Girls would say that. To you. Yeah. Imagine a girl saying like they want your man legs. Okay, but that sucks. that's a compliment. It means you're like, Josh, you're I would, thriving. I, I wish I would. Don't let them put you down. Yeah, it's whatever. Fuck. Oh, this is oh, me. Oh, big glow up. Glow oh, up. Yeah. I look 40 when I was like 16. Wait, yeah, what the fuck? I think I'm like grow. I think I'm like uh, aging like, backwards. Glow up. Like I wouldn't even know that was you. I know, isn't you that crazy? Way more tanned. Yeah, that was freshman year of high school. Would have never known. Not that a lot of bronze. Huge glow up. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Absolutely. Spray tan. Yeah. For sure. Glow you almost, you actually up. almost look like Nessa's mom in that photo, which is glow up. Yeah, I knew that we both had glow up. I knew this picture was. Isn't fun. it better to be a glow up? Like we all thrive. Yeah, I would rather. Glow ups glow up. are great. My glow up is huge. I was <laughs> well, used to be it? a thumb. Disgusting, hideous. Now look at me. <laughs> I had a really <laughs> awkward high school stage. But don't you think yeah, it's better? Yeah, yeah wait, wait, not everyone. Better also that's when not you're true. Like not the cutest when you're younger. Not everyone has an awkward high school stage. though. No, that's definitely not true. I went through high school terror. It was. Bad oh, yeah. stage. Braces. You, then you Bad got a good stage. personality. That's right. now that's you're good looking, that's right? Yeah, and yeah, uh, right? Right. Like, right. Like, I, 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 I had to be like, like their whole life. I'm like, yeah. mm -mm. I had to be kind of funny, that means, a little bit. Exactly. Yeah, you gotta have some personality. Right. Look at that. Yeah, I've seen this Holy picture of you. I don't even recognize that. But that's either. also like the worst picture I've ever seen in my life. Like, that's not fair. <laughs> God damn, well, Alex. Best glow up of all time. Though. Isn't that kind of great? Huge glow up. Rachel Bush. No. Oh. Rachel. Stop. I actually love her. That picture was when I was in. It was. I think I'm, I'm she was like, stressed about using it. I'm, I'm a little. No. Away oh my god. I'm like. I've seen. I'm like. Literally, I have so many, so many bad pictures of me on the internet. That may be the worst one, and I don't even think that's that fair to put up. But I'll take it. <laughs> I'm proud to be sitting here today. Yeah, now you look like that. I mean, yeah. I've definitely seen a picture of myself before where it's like, oh, that, like, that's like that doesn't awful. look like me. Like, it's like weird, yeah. weird yeah. photo. Don't judge me off of that. But that's pretty crazy. I know. If, if you did look person. like that, congrats. But that's a real, that's like but 12 good years. Dude, I was, look, yeah, at, that's look at my hairstyle on the side of my head. That's like one of those, like, my eighth grade formal but when I was, you, like, were, about to, like. in college? Yeah. You're right, that's what I Is your natural hair, like, strawberry blonde? Yeah. So did you go through high school like not I, being? No, that's eighth grade. Mm. So then when I got. So you look like seven years you look older old. than me. Yeah. And I, I, when I was in like probably like 10th grade. Then in high school, I like definitely like got it together a little bit. Figured it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I figured out like that I like just had to like dye my eyebrows. And then I was like, oh my God, I don't have a five head now. <laughs> yeah. So we got another game. I don't know whether we save it or play it. I feel oh, like no, we got to play this one, Build a Fuck Boy. Okay, let's play. play it because that game wasn't even fun until we had our own. But like yeah. the beginnings, we were like, there's no difference. Well, yeah, they were like two days, like Tuesday versus Wednesday. Yeah, this yeah. one is better. Build a Fuck Boy. Mm -hmm. What is this? So basically, like building your dream fuck boy or who you would want to date. So oh. we're going to build oh, this is Oh, this is a great game for me and Dave. Yeah. Okay. Build a fuck boy. <laughs> build a fuck boy. 
Okay, so hairstyle. Do you want little Huddy hair, Bryce Hall hair, or Blake Gray hair? Damn. Oh, <laughs> little Huddy hair yeah. is so yeah. funny. I was about to say, honestly, all like I feel like it's not doing them justice for their hair, though. I feel like all these guys have. Dude, Blake hair. Gray's hair is like wet in that. I, I would. That, I, yeah, we just, I that was actually that was actually in the DR. We were just done playing basketball. If I had to pick one of these hairs, I would probably none of these would be my. Who would be a you hair have that to? Want? You have fuckboy hair, big time. No, Griffin has nice hair. I just I would say I have more just like ah, it depends on the time. Right nice now I have like like I would just say like hockey hair. Like it's just the long hair that comes up the side. Hockey. No, oh my no, God, no, no, I, no. No hockey guys wear hair like you. No. They have it no, come they have out the, the back flow, of their helmets. Yeah, but yeah. They they put it behind. Yeah, but my hair's just not long enough for it. I guess let's go. No, cut and cut. Who has like fuckboy hair that I'd say? Well, I mean, they all have fuckboy hair, right? I guess maybe I'd take Huddy's hair. Really? I think you could work with Huddy's hair. Yeah, you can do all sorts of shit with it. Okay, let's go with Huddy's You know what? I, I, I'm taking Bryce's. If Bryce's. I do like a ponytail, Bryce? I would go ponytail. Well, you could do that Bro's, with a little Huddy's Bryce's hair. Bryce's frustrates right, me because yeah, yeah. I want nothing more in life than to see that person's forehead. Bryce's? Yeah. It I, annoys I did a me. Video. It's always like... I did a video with Bryce where we showed our foreheads on TikTok because everyone always comments that about him. Huh. Mm -hmm. I need to go back and watch that. I think video. that's a little much in the front. Yeah, you can do most, the most with Huddy. I, I go okay, let's go Huddy. I'm going Bryce. Okay. Like, I'm, I'm building my own guy. All right, face. Griffin, Nate, or Vinny Hack. Griffin, Griffin. Has the most, like, prototypical fuckboy face of all time. Yeah, Griffin. Yeah. Okay, Griffin. Griffin looks like uh, he's... He's like a little model. You know, you know who yeah, he, 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 he has a little bit of young yeah. Ashton Kutcher vibes to him. Oh. Tell me you don't see that. You know, a little, yeah. little, especially when he packs the lip. He yeah. packs the lip sometimes. Like if you're too. doing like an uh, American do like that? jeans commercial, like <laughs> don't Wrangler, need to. it's like Griffin. Okay. Yeah. Griffin. I mean, it's. Yeah. Face Griffin. Body. Larray, no big, back. Cat. big All cat. the way. Dad you know what, bod. Though? Dad bod? You can't, yeah, you can't diss the dad bod. Like one no, of my Justin. best friends. That is like not fair to the big cat. That's like the worst. <laughs> just a cheap shot thrown at him. I mean, this is easy. No, back. No, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, super easy. Larray's too skinny. Dan's a fatso. <laughs> I mean, you know what? I, I had a boy in high school, though. Shout out Wyatt. He, he had a dad, pot, dad bod and he pulled. I mean, no, that yeah. is a dad. Yeah. He also and, and like his dad his girlfriend was like, don't ever work out because I don't want to like. I don't want a guy that has like, like six. I don't want to cuddle with abs. That's no. like. It's and then you feel like spot. you have to work out. Yeah, no. And mm. to Big Cat, like we have been sitting in like casinos for like months straight, just eating <laughs> fucking the worst food. Yeah. Ever. We eat on camera and then more people just send jokes. And he's rich. And so. Who By the way, about like girls, girls working out. This is something like I, I've had this issue uh, before with a girl where they're like, they're like. Oh, I feel like, I feel kind of like fat. I feel, and I'm just like, why don't you just come work out with me then? Why does that not fly? You know what I mean? You can't, you can't, you can't agree that they're fat. You could be like, no, but I, like, even if you do, and then you're like, but like, why don't you just like, if you're feeling like, you know, like, you not wanna, great like, about yourself, come, yeah, come, come work out. Why doesn't that it doesn't fly? fly? That one fly with me. It's like I don't want to fucking work out, dude. Just let me be fat and my <laughs> Right, but then don't. I, I don't need to be. But ashamed. then don't don't complain about being fat. Then. That's but I, I want yeah, like, compassion to be like, yeah, it sucks. But I'm not looking to be like, <laughs> let's go fucking. Back. Get up, yeah, fat, though. Yeah, the, yeah. Right. The only time I touched a weight was the first time here, like in the last 10 years. You, you, you weighed yourself here? No, touched a weight. And oh. How did you God. lose so much weight? Adderall, walking to work. Oh, okay. Yeah, Adderall you does have like a nice the, build now. Yeah. But you don't lift weights? No, I don't oh. do anything. Mm. But it, it really, I was just super sedentary. So when okay. I started bar, I was at a computer like this. I start walking to work. And uh, when Renee and I broke up, like she would have everything I want to eat in the house. Mm -hmm. oh. And then when I'm single, there's nothing in the house. Right, so. that's smart. Starve yourself. Not on purpose. I love ways. it. Yeah. No, it's good. We should do, uh, we should do, you know those like old timey workout videos that people used to sell? They'd be like working out on mats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Pond in the background. Yeah. Just rip one of those. All right, style. Jaden, Baron, or Jayden. Josh? Uh, Jaden. 100%. Yeah. Jaden's got the f best style, dude. Like, in, in sense of just, like, how he's able to put fits together. Yeah. I just feel like even when I'm, like... He's cool. That's the first time I've seen him. Like, ooh, he's a cool dude. Right? He gives yeah. off cool dude vibes. He gives vibes. off cool dude vibes. Yep. Like, you know, you see him and you're like, you're a fucking rock star. Yeah, no, yeah. I saw Instantly. him. He's like, Instantly. He you're like, cool he's vibes. a rock star. That's yep. cool. I don't know if his style works with Noah Beck's body, though. Like that's, oh, that's style. Totally Fuck. That's a good yeah. point. Doesn't. That's that what we're doing. It works with uh, the hair. hair. Yeah. That's yeah. why he tried to make Hank get fucking tattoos to be cool. <laughs> but like, I would. Um, yeah. Maybe Jaden's just the ultimate fucking. Right. Have, have, that's what I'm just thinking. Right? Like, even his yeah. hair is pretty fucked. Like the whole package. Because he perms it too. He does like oh. the 
Oh. Not natural perm, which all And now he's like tatted like, up, right? And he's got the tat. Yeah, yeah. but, but I mean, over tats isn't typical fuckboy, I wouldn't say. It depends. If it's artsy tattoos, it is. If but his like is like tribal. up to the neck. Like oh, that's fuckboy, I feel like. Look at my tattoo. Or skinny. Yeah. That's where we have a guy, Hank, who was like, worked for me, intern, he's been with us forever, and he was super skinny. And he, he was like, how do I get cool? So it was one of two things. They're going to try to work tattoos. out or tattoos. I was like, That's tattoos. True. He tried to work out and eat more, and he just got fat. <laughs> <laughs> That's unfortunate. That's really But yeah, I, I, would, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't pick my style, bro. I got shitty style. Personality. Style. Yeah. It, it's basic style. Ooh, I mean, like, what if is, you're going for a what fuck What kind boy. of personality do we like? Rat boy? Fuck boy? Nice. Yeah. Can we do a little, like, I like, I wish I could do a little combo move here. Parlay. Athlete. Mm. Like, I mean, well, frat boy is what gets the reputation. Yeah. But a lot of times, athletes and frat boys are sort of synonymous. Yeah. Right. I was going to go for the, the athlete stoner. Those are great guys. <laughs> Why is mama's athlete boy on stoner. there? Yeah, what, what's a mama's boy? Do you like mama's boy? Oh, my God, I've dated a guy that was an athlete, that was a stoner, that pretended to be a nice guy, and he wanted to fuck his mom. And it was the worst. It was always <laughs> about his fucking mom. What position did he play? He was a pitcher. Mm, I know who you're talking about. I've dated oh a couple of Oh my god, that is a wild. That is a fucking wild crazy exactly. headline right there. You should just say Alex's name. Alex's ex-boyfriend <laughs> wants to fuck his mom. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? That's a that's state? that is bold. Tweet that actually. Write that up right now and just tweet you it. You know that's how we initially like before I, she I'm worked. not saying it's him. Shout I'm not you. saying it's him. I've dated a couple pictures. Give me more credit. Have you? Yeah. How many pictures have you dated? Um you're just trying to muddle No, I've, yeah. I've had two. She's like, oh, I had this one kid that Here's threw the ball. No, no. Like I've dated, I've been open. The guy that I talk about on my podcast, that's door number three. He was a pitcher. Then the, another one, Slim Shady, was a pitcher. Like Eminem? Yeah. That's I, how we initially crossed paths before we One were, of the guys that I dated. Oh, okay. Didn't we see each other at like a concert? Mm -hmm. I was black. I don't remember it, yeah, but it I was do. At the, <laughs> it was at uh, the Apollo. It was like a serious thing. Yeah. Yeah. That was good times. Simpler. I don't know about simpler, but different. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you guys pick for personality? I went. I'm going. Athlete. I, mean, I guess well, athlete. Yeah. I'm, I, I don't know what it yeah, is. Athlete. The typical. The typical. Fuck I liked probably. rating pictures last time better. Yeah. Is that the whole guy? Is that the game? That's yeah. it. We, we built right. our fuck boy. I think that's everything. So. Um, yeah. I don't know. Listen to Color Daddy. I don't know what's next. We're gonna find out what's next for. Alex, we're yeah. a meeting actually. We have a meeting up there. We do have a meeting. Oops. I'm so nervous. <laughs> yeah, super nervous. All right, that's it. <laughs> yeah. BFFs. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Roman uh, is a sponsor of this show as well. Great for anybody who likes to have sex. They fit right into your wallet. Um, and it's a clinically proven way to last longer. Bed, effective, easy to use, fast acting, don't require a prescription. They ship swipes to indiscreet, unmarked packaging. Each swipe small enough to hide your wallet for whenever you need it. Super easy to use. Just take the swipes out of the packet, swipe it on, let it dry. You're good to go. Go to getroman.com slash BFF. You can get your first month of swipes for just five bucks. When you choose a monthly plan, that's getroman.com slash BFF. They're cheap. Like, why won't you at least try it? Yes. Anything that gives you an advantage in bed is worth at least uh, trying. Worst like case, it doesn't, but it does, so you'll get uh, hooked on it for the better. Um, again, Roman.com. Go to Roman. Get Roman.com slash BFF. Last longer bed. Who doesn't like that? Um, okay, do we have Stromedy? Yep, he's in the waiting room. Just you okay. can lead into so it, and then I'll let him in. Yeah, let's preface this. So, Stromedy, we had him on... Or we didn't have him on. We had the clip with him. What was it? Last week or two weeks ago? Yeah, he was, like, he was like the one that wanted all the attention from the paparazzi cameras. Yeah. Correct. And trying to, yeah. he, he, him and Bryce are going back and forth. I remember yeah, him yeah, being yeah, like, yeah. bro, I get like way more views than you do. <laughs> but like nobody was really paying attention to him. Yeah. I had never heard of him. Everyone's kind of heard of Bryce. So I don't get where he's coming with that. He's popular for comedy, skits, pranks, vlogs. So the question here, is this just... It, 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 one big work by him, WWE style, to get in the news, get on shows like this. Mm. Um, I guess he's asking everybody to fight Taylor Holder. He wants to fight him, Bryce. He made a diss track. Yes. Here. So let's see the diss track and then we'll bring him on. Okay, I got him now. Okay. Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. 
Okay, so Stromedy, Kyle Godfrey, born in Canada, like Josh. We set the stage here. I first saw you. We just said it. You uh, confronted Bryce and Taylor Holden at BOA. Um, went back and forth, want to fight Taylor, going back and forth with them. You say to Bryce, I get way more views than you. I was like, really? Mm. Because I'd never heard of you at that point. And everyone kind of knows who Bryce Hall is in the TikTok world. And even after, like the paparazzi didn't seem to know who you were, but didn't know who he was. We're continuing along now. And you, we were, we want, I want to watch the diss track. And then we'll get to the bottom of this because clearly it says you're a comedian. So whether this is just like, let me get in the news, let's, let me mm. get my name out there, or you actually want to fight these guys and all that. So let's see the diss track first. And what was this, what was this diss track You cringe talkers think TikTok. you're sick? Wow. How am I pulling more views than you all? The internet was never yours. It was just your turn. Hmm. We're bringing YouTube back. I'm a comfort everybody, we gon' come for everybody Since TikTok has been around, the internet's been going down Told you boys I don't play around, I'm the big man with that big sound YouTube the OG, been reppin' it since my hometown Well here trying to make moves, doing dance moves like a SoundCloud, oh no Oh yeah You wanna play with me, but I don't dance my money and I stay paid Oh yeah Getting paid for hunting clowns, still making more than you clowns in one day. It's a cringe fest. Everybody join in. Little okay. Huddy, right. Noah we Big, get it. Alex Warren. Yeah, right. I get it. I get it. it. So, this isn't real, right? I mean, <laughs> watching that, this is... It's got to be a joke. Yeah, this is this is an elaborate work right now, right? I mean, at the end of the day, yeah, it's, it's a joke. <laughs> like, this yeah. is like, I'm not really coming for people, you know? Like, it's kind of been blown out of proportion. Yeah, this is yeah. this is your you're jumping on this fight thing of like the YouTube versus the TikTokers. Dude, like YouTube was so lit back in 2017 and I'm just trying to bring back some of that hype. You know, I got to spice it up a little bit. It's getting boring. And it's like it's like in the, like what the song said, since TikTok has come around, the internet's gone down. Like I feel like it's just TikTok's kind of ruined, you know, like content consumption. How old like, are there's you? There's nothing for people to consume anymore. How old are you? I'm 22. Okay. Well, I mean, like, do you think, like, there's no content for people to consume anymore because they're people are just making, like, fake clown videos like yours? So people are just like, I don't want to watch this shit. Like, I want to go watch something, like, that's different. You know what I mean? Like, that's why I think that's why people fuck with the podcast. I'm, I mean, my, like, my clown videos, I mean, three million people enjoy them. They have a lot of effort. You know, they might be cringy to people like your age, but a lot of kids enjoy them. It's like, if you're going to roast my content, you might as well go roast, like, Disney and stuff, too. Like, Shows that makes or like team ten or like team tens old videos or like, yeah, like hype yeah, house, which I do. My videos why. are, you know, they might be cringy to you guys, but they have a lot of high production and effort, and I write scripts for them and stuff. You know, yeah, so, I, so I it's didn't like actually, a, yeah, I didn't actually like cringe. To me, that was like intentionally cringy. Like I have no problem with it. You're this is like oh, there's no one who could really be like I'm bringing yeah, I don't YouTube take offense back. to it. It's like it's all it, it's just it's just I, no, it's just the route you decided to go down. There's nothing like wrong with that. It's like Brent Revere did that too. He decided to make content that was like really child friendly and like. Yeah, and you guys know how cringy. YouTube is now too, dude. Like you make content that is for our age, and you're gonna get demonetized. Like there's no career on YouTube anymore if you don't make content for kids. Like that's what I'm saying. Like it's like Nelk, right? They make content that appeals to people like our age, but they don't get yeah. they don't get paid nothing on YouTube. Whereas right, so I don't do get like the merch. merch, I don't get the merch sales and stuff like that. But I get the you know I get paid from YouTube. Yeah, I get what you're doing. Listen, I've been doing this thing. I don't even know if you actually know, like, maybe now because you're on the pod, like my background. I've been doing this for like 20 years. So I've I've seen the, the vines. I've seen everything. Yeah. I Like when I watch what I just watched, that's part of uh, the TikTok, the beefs, what's real, what's not real. Like I'm going on this and I don't know from like Taylor's side and I don't know from Bryce, from what I see of you, which I have no problem with, this is you're it's finding like, a lane and trying to monetize yeah. it. It's a hundred percent like a, it's a clout grab. It, it, it's it's trying to make a. I don't I don't even know if it's a clout grab. In my mind, it's like, all right, how do I make myself relevant? And there may be like younger kids. I don't know. Like, is Bryce actually like, oh, I hate this kid, or does he realize this is just kind of like a work? Well, Bryce probably Bryce doesn't really do things like a work. You know, Bryce is all about like yeah, how he's like 
He just is Price like authentic, mad. or or he's just gonna say how he feels. So it's yeah, like that's dude, his we, whole thing, right? So it's like when it's when it's a game too, though. Like yeah, but yeah. when like you're, when it, when it's at like, some guy, I think it's just like when you're at, he's at like a dinner or whatever, and then it's like you you were talking shit, and then you come yeah, but I wasn't talking like, shit. I was I was at the dinner, and he came up to me. I didn't say anything. because you were already talking shit before though. Yeah, but you know, like right. So don't say you weren't. I mean, don't lie. It's dumb. Anyway, so you were talking yeah, shit. How much shit and then he goes Bryce up to you about other people though. Like, dude, he knows people. the game. He knows the bro, game. Bro, bro, shut up. Okay, so what happened is he, you were talking shit. He walked up to you and he confronted it. Right. Obviously, what you were doing was like grabbing that attention. You saw he walked out. You saw that Bryce got f- whatever ten paparazzi cameras around him, and you were like, "Oh, now I'm gonna go start talking up to him." Well, Daddy has really. the ten cameras. So it's like obvious that. what you're going you're going about. You, you, you just admit it. I mean, dude, he told me to come outside, so I came outside. That's it. He, but you don't want to fight, do you? Like that's yeah, you not don't, I'm, don't fight them. Fight I don't, them. I'm not gonna do a street fight, but I'm down to right. box them. So then why did you go outside then? If he if he asked you to go outside to fight him. I said, let's put the let's put on the gloves. Let's go to a ring. How long right, have you so been you doing were going this outside content for? Huh? How long have you been doing the con like YouTube? How long how long it like have you been doing it for? Like two point nine seven uh, million subscribers. That's a shit ton. A ton right? of subscribers. Yeah. So how long have you been doing it? it? How'd you build that? I've been doing it for like uh it's like a passion of mine. Like I don't do it for the money, nothing like that. Like I've been doing this since I was a kid. Oh, I don't uh, believe that. What you just said, I don't fucking believe that that you're not you doing just it for said the money. You did it for you're, the money you're trying you to build a career out of it. Well, yeah, because yo, everyone's gotta get paid in life, right? Like, you know, it's right. it's a job at the end of the day. You know, I'm not going to do YouTube if I can't support myself. Correct. Right. There's nothing wrong with that. that. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, no, I've been doing it for like eight years, probably. Got it. And when did you like, Nine. so 2.97, that's a ton. Like, did you have any moment that you like really went high or, or went just slow grind? I've tried a lot of stuff on YouTube and then it would just, it was with some of these kid videos that the views started going up. So I'm just like, yo, I'll just go with this now. Right, but I think, I'm going to develop my personal channel where I have a lot more of like my own personal stuff like vlogs because I, I consider Stromedy like it's not really me. It's not really my personal YouTube channel. It's almost developed into like a, a separate TV show that's just aired on YouTube, you know, and I play this character and uh, I got my personal channel too, where I try to like actually do like real stuff. Yeah. So Josh, Josh and I, I think maybe split on, on my interpretation of you. And that's because he's probably friends with Bryce and all the shit. Like I, I have no problem. Like I, I see what you're doing. You're out there. Oh, trying I get to create it. The, yeah. Like I don't, oh, yeah. nothing he's doing. I strikes me and I have no problem with it as real. He's doing a character trying to basically yeah, build his profile and monetize it. hundred percent. hundred percent. I mean, yeah. it's gotta be, it's gotta be the clown videos that blew up the channel though. Right. Not really. It was just a bunch of consistent stuff. I mean, the clown videos are popping now. Because like, yeah, they're they're they. I saw like Cody Ko did a video to it. I saw yeah. like they, they they. I've just seen them blow up. No, What's I've up? done a bunch of different stuff, and it's kind of just been little things here and there that skyrocketed it. But do not it's the clown thing. Do you not? Here's a question for you. Like the the Bryce Hall con- confrontation at Boa, and I've done a bunch of things at times during like the 20 years I've been doing this at, and, and Paul, who's like been our first employee would, who's on this would attest. It's like, I'll say right before I do, it's like, man, I really don't feel like fucking doing this, but I know, <laughs> I know it's good. And I know it's view. So it's, I just almost like take my mind out of it. It's like, you know what? I'm just going to fucking do it. do it. Is that how you are at BOA? Or are you like, like what, what's your mindset? Yeah. What's the thinking like process that? when yeah. you go to like run out side? Because when you I don't seem around. like somebody who's like naturally, like I'm going to like, you're not, creating a confrontation normally unless there's views in mind so like before the boa thing with bryce are you like man i really don't want to do this but fuck it i better do it because it's good for my brand good for views like what's going on in your head well obviously it's funny like obviously it's going to get picked up by the media and stuff i'm not just going to go out there and like be for random nobody like Like, right i know know. but do you not like doing that and do you put on your like almost actor hat or are you like no you're into it in real time no i'm into it like it's obviously you know, for the entertainment at the end of the day, like I'm not really trying to actually beef this guy, but he kind of just took it out of proportion. And now it's almost turned more real on his side. Got it. So like what happened with the, uh, what happened with the fight? Weren't you guys supposed to fight for like, didn't you say you were offering him a hundred thousand dollars and like, weren't you guys supposed to fight yesterday? 
Yeah, and well, I was offering Taylor a hundred thousand. Okay, so you were offering yeah, we Taylor. Were supposed to fight, but then I caught a last minute flight to Miami. So then, why was he saying like all your friends were like, "Oh no, he didn't even go to Miami"? Why were your friends saying that? Because I posted um I posted an Instagram story prior to going to Miami saying I'm going to Miami and I put the Miami location. So they thought I was, I was still in LA, but they thought I was trying to make it seem like I was in Miami hiding, but I, I actually had a flight in like three hours. I was trying to say, yo, I'm heading there. You know what I'm saying? Right. Why, <laughs> why'd you leave the day you were supposed to fight? Josh is really yeah. don't like this guy. This is I, crazy. <laughs> I had an opportunity here. Was it, so what I, was the opportunity? I wanted to film some stuff. I got some friends out here. Like what? Filming more clown videos? You think he'll oh get more God. views than the fight? Yeah, more YouTube stuff. I mean, All dude, right. I don't really need views from this whole fight thing. Like, I already get views. I'm already successful doing what I do. I don't need Bryce to make me more relevant. Well, you're like, the one that went out and engaged in it. I mean, dude, I made one diss track for fun, and then he caused the storm, dude. <laughs> I'm not the one that fueled the fire. He's a hothead, dude. He tried punching my fucking window last night. Did he? Where? I mean, that would be great. If, like, if that if that happened, that'd be better views. Tell the story. Go. What'd yeah, you do? it's lit. Well, they they thought that I was going to Miami, so they thought that I was faking the whole Miami thing and that I was backing out of the fight and shit. And then they were FaceTiming us. There was a whole confrontation. Things got heated between him, him and my boy. And then they were like, "Yo, pull up, pull up." So they pulled up, and then we just nailed them with water balloons because he came at us with the pies or whatever. And then it just turned into a like a pursuit. They were chasing us, and then they eventually blocked us so in. This Bryce, went from like a fight. This went from like a f calling each other out for fighting in front of Boa to you guys throwing like whipped wait, cream and what, water what, at each other. What, what the fuck are we talking about? This yeah, bro. Last, what is this? Wait, 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 wait this what? happened last night. You people, what? What do you just? What? What was that story? Where'd that come from? I don't know. It just happened last night. <laughs> last night. <laughs> Yeah. You were throwing water balloons at Bryce and got in a car chase. What? <laughs> yeah, like there's a bunch of videos. Did you know that, Josh? No idea. Yeah, look, you can see the videos but, and stuff. And this is before you went to Miami? Yeah, this is right before, like 30 minutes before I left the airport. See, now this is where I'm... My plan was, my plan was when he got to the house, I was just going to nail him with water balloons and then just dip to the airport. And leave, like, the state. Yeah. <laughs> Are we sure Bryce well, isn't involved you, well, in this? Too? Well, obviously, this I'm going seems, to Miami. This seems like one huge fucking work. I don't know what. Yeah, I, I don't get how this could be real. I mean, it's it not. Is real. It's, it can't be. All right. Listen, I appreciate you coming on. And anybody Thanks, who's man. worked that hard, like, I appreciate you, you know, three million fucking, that's a big channel. Huge. Um, but none of this other shit, I believe. But I don't, I'm, I, I, <laughs> what don't you believe? What don't you believe? That it's like real beef. I just think you're doing it for I views. just told you it's it's not though. It's right. not real beef. Of course it's for the entertainment. Right. Like I'm I'm trying but to But I beef. think you're both kind of in on it, like water balloons and all that shit. No, nah, we're actually not both in on it. Like like he really came to my house like without me knowing and pied like all our cars and stuff. Like but I'm even not that, that that that's views for I him. I laughed it off. I thought it was funny too. Yeah, but and that's then, like views, that's views both the way. All right, Stromedy. Yeah. Um you can check him out. Former team called that squad, but what, what's where just strong? Oh gosh, where, where in Canada are you from? Outside Toronto. Gee, same. Yeah, wh whereabouts? Milton. Milton. Uh, you know a town called Coburg? Nah, where's that? It's uh, it's like hour east of Toronto, hour and a half east. It's like there's a little beach on the town. It's pretty dope. Oh, true. Yeah. Thanks, man. Uh, yeah, thanks me. for coming on though, dude. No worries, no worries. Right. See, Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, yeah. take right. care, bro. Jesus, What'd Josh, you, you were yeah, going Josh. in on him. Yeah, <laughs> I just wanted to get like he, he, I don't think he knows how to answer questions very well. I, I mean, he just kept dancing around the answers. I was just trying true. to get a straight answer from him. He, he he's just a content creator doing whatever he can. I I kind of respect it, hustling. And again, Bryce, hey, yeah. like, you know, pie and cars. It's it's all. Like what you said for Bryce, Bryce gets the game too. Like when he did the pizza review thing with me, that's he's not really mad. He's like, you know, just getting views, getting people to talk. Yep. That's what the game's about. Mm -hmm. 100%. Um, okay, so Brianna, you got some questions. We'll end the show with that. Yeah. Okay. So the first question, and these are from the subreddit. My wife is a police officer and recently confessed to me that she had sex with someone while working undercover. I am unsure how to process this. Uh, divorce? Leave? 
hundred percent leave. Do you think that's justifiable at all? How? Nope. How could no? <laughs> what if she was like undercover and she had to take one for the team? Mm, I don't think that's how it works in my. Yeah, I just, I just don't. Yeah, nope, nope. Okay, that's yeah. demon time. Demon yeah, time for that guy. Yeah, that that that's not great. Yeah, out. Okay. Um, this one. Should I break up with my boyfriend because he believes nine eleven is an inside job? I believe that if you think 9-11 is an inside job, you're a Looney Tunes. Like, you can't have that belief and then right. not other beliefs and be like, well, the Holocaust didn't happen and, like, shit like that. So you're probably dang a nutball, which I wouldn't be comfortable with. I just can't believe that would be the only lunatic thought. Right. If there's no way they're just weird on that one vertical. Yes. They got to be just overall a weird person, so— you got to yes. just make your choice. It does say in here that the only ones he believes in are Epstein, 9-11 is an inside job, and Hillary Clinton maybe being associated with Epstein. So he seems like he doesn't believe a lot of things. He's into the conspiracies. I mean, you can believe anything with Epstein. You can believe Hillary Clinton's like an <laughs> <Yeah>. alien. Um, <laughs> the 9-11, though, is a tough one. That's a fucking tough one to believe. Yeah. yeah. If you're vouching just... for that, I think that's someone you shouldn't be dating. Yeah, I'd agree. <clears throat> are there any conspiracies you guys believe? Like popular ones that are out there? Um, Do you guys think the moon landing was real? The first one? Josh, I'm not going to lie. I was convinced that it might have not been after I watched a lot of stuff. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Because the, the blowing flag always trips me out. I don't get that. How's there wind? It's true. I don't know. We've never been up there. I don't know. The JFK <laughs> always like fascinates me i've watched that a million trillion times and seen the movie and it's like such i mean assassination of a president it's just crazy and the guy who did it gets killed like instantly after um so i think there's conspiracy there i don't know what the truth is but i think there's right. shit there yeah yeah maybe michael jackson's alive i think the that's tupac the one or whatever where he's like still <laughs> well yeah i mean Cuba. he's been at celtics games there's a guy who looks exactly like tupac who goes to celtics games it's amazing do you think he, tupac's alive though not sure. Probably not. No, I don't yeah. think so. Be pretty cool yeah, if he was. Be so sick, especially if you like knew too. You're just like the f one of like f few people that knew he was still alive. That'd be hard. Yeah, that'd I'm be, generally that'd be very awesome. skeptical of conspiracies. Yeah. Me too. But it's kind of fun to believe in some. Oh, this is a picture. Yeah, no, it's cool. Oh, is this him? Is this Tupac at the Celtics? Yeah. That that does. Yeah. yeah. I mean. <laughs> right. Come on. He's That's dressed weird. a lot like him too. Yeah. It's a doppelganger. I mean, he's trying to be him with the with yeah, the, yeah, yeah. He's got he's got to be trying yeah. to look like him. Yeah, because yeah. he didn't age. More questions? No, just two. Okay, so I think that's it. Right. That's the show.